Hey everyone, Crystal here, and we are doing a fun soap today. We are doing a summer soap, and we're doing some fun colorants, and I'm going to name this soap Summer Blast, and the scent I came up with is, oh my gosh, you guys, I could sit here and sniff this all day long. It smells that good. I mean, it's just so, oh, it just smells delicious. And it reminds me of a, the summertime. And it's very, very fragrant. It's got some um, berries in there and some floral. It's just, oh, it's awesome. So let's go ahead and get this mixed up. I'm going to add my, um, I'm using uh, yogurt and cream today. My coconut milk is out in my van in the back of my van with my some oils I got the other day and I don't feel like going and getting it so we are doing um, cream and yogurt instead of coconut milk so there's that let's go ahead oops let's go ahead and get that mixed up I'm buzzing but alright so that's good and mixed in let's go ahead with our boy I keep hitting my darn cover to my camera so in with our lie and I'm gonna go rinse this out so I'll have something for my stick blender and then we'll add our fragrance I prepared these oils and lye last night and I was going to make this last night, but then I'm like, nah, I don't feel like it. So I'm making it this morning. All right, let's get this rinsed out. from a stick blender now let's go ahead and add our fragrance and of course it is anchored in tapioca starch like always I do never forget my tapioca starch because it really makes a difference with the fragrance on the staying power of the fragrance so I always 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 use it I like it better than using kaolin clay I like it I mean it really has worked for me, so I'm going to keep using what works. Alright, I'm hoping this scent, I know one of the fragrances I use does not accelerate, but I don't know about the other one, so hopefully we can get this to stay pretty fluid. I want it to have some texture to it, and I mean because uh, of what I want to do. I don't want it to be fluid fluid because I don't really want to do a drop swirl. Alright, that looks good and mixed. I'm going to add my extra super fat. And I have tried this out, guys, and oh my gosh, it does make a difference. It kind of kills my bubbly factor when I add extra super fat. But the, I mean, the creaminess and the moisturizing, the moisturizing part of the soap is just out of this world awesome. So there's my super fat, and here's some glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant, and it'll help draw moisture to your skin. I always add glycerin to my hot process, cold process, um, anything. Anytime I'm making soap, I do add glycerin. I've just changed the way I add it. I now add it at Trace.
Alright, that looks good and emulsified. Looks like it's staying good, nice and fluid, but I wanted to thicken up a little bit, guys. Um, the colors we're doing today is some neon colors. We're doing Cosmetic Pink Neon from Nurture Soap. And then we're also doing uh, Cosmetic Orange Neon from Nurture Soap. And uh, Yellow Neon Pigment from Nurture Soap. It's part of their Carnival Collection. And then I'm also using um, some non-neon colorants. Uh, I don't know if it'll make a difference or not because the neon will kind of take over. But I'm using Tangerine Dream from Mad Oils. And I'm also using Bright Yellow Raincoat from Mad Oils. Um, I just want to see. There that is. Let me get my spoon. I keep seeing this dark spot. And it went away. Now I can't find it. Something is in my soap, and I don't know where it came from. Okay, it went away again. Alright, guys, so let me get my scale. I love this scale, and you guys see it? It's a digital scale. I got it on sale at Walmart, and it tells grams, ounces, pounds and ounces, and kilograms. Cord out of the way here. Let's get these mixed up a little bit. So there's my piping. Yeah, this thickened up way more than what I wanted it to, but I um, got it on the side here. And our white. And I'm using white as a contrast color today, not as a main color. Our main color is going to be the pink. So let me get this other white mixed up. There's our piping. And I hope my white will thicken up on me and I don't have to wait forever to pipe. So I'm going to set those to the side. Set that there. Clean up my mess. Alright guys, we're ready for our mold. And I'm using my new 5 pound wooden mold today with the silicone liner. So, let's go ahead and get some pink in there. Some pink. Orange. I thought these were fun colors for summer. And then some white as a accent color here. My white, of course, is more fluid than anything else. All right, a little bit more pink. Good grief, my phone is ringing off the hook. And some orange. Oh my lord. Another telemarketer. Hello. No, it's Alyssa. I'm busy right now. She's busy. Call you back in a minute. She's doing her soaps. Who is it? Okay, I'll tell her. Mama. What? She said she was in Argo and she wanted to pop by. No. 
She's going to be busy later on. Tell her it'll be Friday. Just tell her that. It'll be Friday. Well, are those your colors? Yeah. Ooh. That's thick. Are you piping? Yeah, I'm gonna pipe. With what with, with which ones? Pink, this pink and white. Oh. Hello, Liz. Hey. Oh. Maybe I should just keep the phone with me from now on just in case it calls. <laughs> Seems like everybody and their mom's calling me right now. Sorry. Some yellow. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this yellow in. I should have got the rest of the orange and pink in. But we shall do that in a minute. Okay. Now some white. Got a little bit of white left. I'm going to take these clips off now. I know some of you have told me to use soap batter to, to tie down my silicone, but I don't like that being on my wooden box. I don't like doing that. So I just use the clips. I don't think there's anything wrong with using the clips. I like it. It doesn't bother me. I just don't like having soap in between my liner and my wood box because it's hard to clean off when it dries. And I don't want to warp the box by putting it underneath water. All right, now for the rest of our pink and orange. I'm going to do like a dowel swirl on this. I've been doing that here lately and I really liked how it turns out. Take a dowel and just swirl it all around. There's that. One side a little bit fuller than the other. I've noticed that with this box that or this soap mold. One side will get fuller than the other side. And I gotta even it out. Make sure I get all of it here. Alright, one more smack down. All these colors are so pretty together. Alright, so let's give it a swirl. Go that way. Then go back that way. I know it makes a mess on my silicone, but I don't care. I can clean that off. I really like how that does when it comes out when I cut it. I really, really like that. All right, one more smack down. All right, let's clean the sides up a little bit, shall we? I, get, I always get soap everywhere when I soap. And those edges definitely need to be cleaned. Wow, I 
actually got this with some room to go on the silicone. I usually fill it clear up to the top. Well, that's not good. I don't want to stick my finger in it. about even about as even it's going to get Maybe one more swipe all right guys we are ready to pipe and I almost waited too long for my piping to set up seriously it got really hard on me I was actually writing an assignment for school and I was typing away and forgot all about my piping so I'm hoping and praying it's not too hard to pipe so, let's get started. too fond of this piping tip Mom, it's fritters, french fries. but I want to put some glitter on it yeah they're french fries okay. so let's get some glitter and I definitely need to wash off my sleeve because it's got soap all over it and do this one too. no I'm not gonna do that one I just want this one I think this one would look better Mom. it's just the piping tip I'm not really fond I don't of like it. That one. that one looks weird. I like the other ones though. This one your new yeah, ones I'm not really though? fond of that one. Is this one of your new ones that you got? Mom. Yeah. Well, if I can get it in here. There we go. Alright. So, even though I don't like the piping tip, here is what it looks like. I think it's pretty. Look what it looks like from there. I think it'll still cut into a pretty good piece of soap. Alright guys, I'm going to put her to bed. And I know now not to get into my schoolwork and, th and forget all about my piping. So, uh, until wait for the cut guys. Hey guys, Crystal here. And we are here to cut our Summer Blast Soap. And there's the top. Look how pretty. Look at those pretty neon colors. Isn't that gorgeous? I could not wait to cut this soap open. I've been wanting to cut it open ever since I made it. Alright, let's go ahead and get an end piece. Let me tighten my wire here. Looks like some came off. And I need a paper towel. Alright. Go ahead and get an end piece. Oh, this is going to look neat, guys. Perfect colors for summer. Alright. Let's see what this bad boy's got inside of it, shall we? 
there's one side Ooh, wow look at the top that's a high top Oh, I love the swirls in this. It's gorgeous. Mmm, and it smells so good. It reminds me of summer. Just everything, just that scent of the flowers and the berries. And it's just got that summery scent to it. And I absolutely love these swirls. I love what the bamboo stick can do. Well, I call it a bamboo stick. It's a dowel. And it's, uh, it's a lot thicker than a regular skewer. And I love the way it does swirls when you put the soap together. And that is a really high top. But I love the top. I think it's gorgeous. And this smells so good, guys. I wish we had smell-o-vision. Because if you could smell how delicious this soap smells. And I absolutely love my silicone liner for my 5-pound mold. It makes my edges and bottoms so clean. I really do like this soap. I think it's pretty. Um, the orange and the yellow and the pink, they all go together. I believed I used all of Nurture Soap's um, Carnival Collection colors, the neon. And now that I'm looking at it, a little bit of neon purple would have went well in this soap as well. I think it would. But I'm loving these colors and these swirls. Oh my gosh. These swirls are beautiful. And the white is just the perfect contrast in between the pink and the orange and the yellow. Look at those swirls. Look how pretty that is. And the top I think is gorgeous. A little bit of sparkle up there. It's making my cutter a mess, but that, that's with every soap. I have to clean this cutter every time I cut soap. Isn't that gorgeous? I wanted to do something fun for summer. And I thought, what else would be fun than some neon colorants? And you never know what kind of swirl you're going to get when you use the bamboo stick or the dowel. Uh... I get a different swirl every time I use it, and I absolutely love it. The swirls are just so unique. Make sure you guys can see. Okay, yeah, you can see. Aren't those swirls pretty? Oh my gosh, I love it. And I think the top goes perfectly with it. I love doing summer and spring soaps. They're just so lively and pretty and colorful. And I'm glad I piped this one. I wasn't originally going to pipe it. And then I printed off my recipe. And I thought, no, I want to pipe. So I redid the recipe. And I'm glad I did. Because the piping just adds right to it. Look at those swirls. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. And it smells so good. I mean, last piece, I'm not going to cut an end piece off of that, but, oh, it just smells, it just screams summer to me. I absolutely love it. All right, guys, so this was the making and cutting of my summer blast. I absolutely love it, love how it turned out. I think it turned out perfectly. Um, if you like this video, please do subscribe for more videos. Uh, I, I upload several times a week, I try to anyway. Um... Yeah, and give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below. Love it when you guys comment. But um, I think that's the only soap I have to cut today. And then um, I have another soap that I did a little bit earlier. Um, that it won't be ready till tomorrow. So, alright guys. Uh, until the next video. Bye-bye.